Hi coaches and welcome to the latest drill from In The Dugout. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on all of our videos, it really helps with the algorithm. So today's session is based on creating angles, we're looking to really work out our, our team's ball control, positioning, creating space and creating angles, movement, coordination of passing and also a load of interaction between our squad so we can make sure we have a load of fun. It's going to be a nice quick paced drill, we're looking to try and allow this drill to flow if we can. There are four live zones within the full area and we're asking players to move to create opportunities for angles and passes so that ultimately we get an opportunity on goal. Here you can see the full setup, we're looking at a 30 yard by 40 yard zone, seven players minimum, and then we want plenty of ball so that so the drill can flow. Bibs are optional, slalom and poles designate where the players will stand, and a passing goal which you can rotate for another player if you don't have one in your setup. We're looking to make sure that our players create snappy movement, create angles, and create opportunities for a pass at that goal on the far side. Ultimately this drill is going to start with a sort of two, three touch maximum setup. If you can progress it to one touch, depending on how the drill flows and your squad ability, that's even better. There's going to be a multiple different variations of pass, angle pass, square passes and sets as we look to create the opportunity on goal. You'll see our players move off bases to create the angle, to create the opportunity for a pass. And then once that pass has been completed, all the players rotate around. Nice, quick, snappy movement. Again, two touch, three touch to start with. And then if we can progress this drill to get to a one touch position, that's fantastic. Constantly talking through the drill, making sure we're rewarding the movement, making sure we're rewarding the passing accuracy and the pace at which the drill is flowing. Doesn't matter if we miss, what matters is we're creating the opportunity. Let's make sure we reinforce that. Once that drill's finished, we bring all our players in, have a nice conversation with them, make sure they understand what the drill was for and how we can progress it. 